Hey, it's Sunday, November 22nd, and you're watching The Great Lost Rewatch. Today we're watching the Season 2 episode, Fire Plus Water. This is a Charlie-centric episode, and... I'll talk about the stuff that I did like. In the flashbacks, we see a lot of the band is kind of not doing very well. They're kind of hard up, so they're doing a diaper commercial, and in the background when they're outside of the shoot, there's a um, little Easter egg of a Widmore construction sign, but unless you have high def, I don't think you can actually see it. We see what happened to Charlie and Liam's relationship. Liam sells Charlie's piano for money to get him and his wife and his baby to Australia so that he can get a job and um, get clean. We do find out what Charlie's daddy issue is. It's that his father never really encouraged him or really wanted him to pursue music, which is what he was good at, and his mother saw that in him. On the island, Charlie's been having these visions that say that he needs to save Aaron for some reason, and then he thinks, uh, he talks to Echo about it, and Echo deduces that maybe Aaron needs to be baptized, so Charlie kind of goes on this mission to baptize Aaron while skidding himself in a lot of trouble and there's a cute Libby and Hurley <laughs> side plot where he Hurley and Libby go and they do laundry together except it ends up being really creepy because Libby recognized tells Hurley that he stepped on her foot on the plane and then she recalls in detail everything that happened he was late he was wearing headphones he was in a hurry she, she stepped on her foot. I'm pretty sure she could probably have told him what he was wearing, and it's just, this is where the Libby knows Hurley previously comes from. I mean, he does say, do I know you from somewhere? There's a lot of biblical references in this um, episode. Charlie's mother and Claire in the angel get-ups. Baby's in danger, you have to save the baby. Aaron's floating in the water in a basket, bassinet, much like Moses does when he gets sent down the Nile in a basket as a baby. Obviously the dove that flies down is what why Mr. Echo thinks that Aaron needs to be baptized. And then the end has a very touching um, scene of Claire and Aaron being baptized by Mr. Echo. Um, it's very beautifully shot. I don't really want to rant, so I'm going to take my cues from SNL and do kind of a really with Liz. Locke, really? You're going to blame somebody? Treat them harshly for following visions of the island when you yourself followed visions of the island and got somebody killed? Really? Really? Charlie? Really? You're having visions of needing to baptize a baby, so you set a fire and you steal the baby and you take it down to the water even though you know that everybody's already thinking that you're crazy and on drugs. Really? Really? Claire, you're gonna yell, SOMEBODY TOOK MY BABY! Again? Really? Really? No. Yeah. Anyway, this has been an enlightening and probably short episode. I'm back again tomorrow with the long con. Not particularly my favorite again, but we'll get through it because after that, it's one of them. So, it's very exciting. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. We're gonna need to watch that again. Evil Charlie.